again, my name is Gabe Zollner. This is the 6th of February, 2019. One of my viewers posted a rather interesting, informative video. Old timer Sam commented on one of the postings that I made recently. And this was uh, put up by HuffPost. Texas man dies after exploding vape pen severs major artery. William Eric Brown suffered a stroke after the exploding e-cigarette severed his chaotic artery. Written by David Barden. You know you hear these ads on the radio? Jewel, the alternative to smoking. And they give you a warning saying that it may cause addiction because it has nicotine. Well, they need to change that ad may explode right in your face. A 24-year-old man in Texas died last week after an e-cigarette he was using exploded and severed a major artery in his neck. According to a report from the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's Office, the exploding vape pen caused William Eric Brown to suffer a stroke after it severed his left aortic artery, one of the major vessels that supplies blood to the brain. Brown a resident of Fort Worth had reportedly just bought the device and was using it for the first time in his grandmother's car, the Fort Worth Star-Telegram reported. It just hurts so bad, Brown's grandmother Alice told the newspaper. It just all seemed so unreal. He was running around doing his thing at 24 and now he's gone. A local CBS affiliate reported Brown was taken to the hospital after the explosion but died two days later. The incident is believed to be the second known reported death in the U.S. caused by an exploding vape pen. Last year, 38-year-old Helma de Elia suffered multiple injuries to his face after the e-cigarette he was using exploded in his face. Brown's death highlights the dangers associated with using the device. Hmm. According to a 217 report by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, there were 195 vape pen explosions from 209 to 216. While no deaths were reported in that count, 29% of the victims were deemed to have suffered severe injuries. <laughs> you know what else I read? Is that when you use those pens, the heating elements, they tend to separate somewhat. And when you're inhaling that smoke, you're also inhaling medical particles that get lodged in your lungs. It's truly amazing that the FDA allows these products to be sold. And anyone that's using them, well, you might think twice they might do what they've already done. 195 times they've exploded in people's faces. Two have died. Now, I don't know if these get sold elsewhere in other countries. I suspect that they probably do. I wonder how many exploded there, if in fact they're sold there, meaning Europe. Far East, who knows? Again, anyone that uses them, you might as well light a stick of dynamite. The end result could be the same. I'll attach the link. Pass it along to your like-minded friends, especially those that you know that are indulging in this smokeless craze. Thanks for listening.